Hey everybody and welcome to the video. So this is Josh here and today I'm gonna go over my top three tips for how to maintain extreme weight loss. You know, I feel like everyone goes over their best ways as to how to lose the weight, but no one's really talking about how they keep it off. These are the three things that I do on a regular basis that have had the biggest impact on making sure I'm not worrying about gaining the weight back. All right, so tip number one is learn how to track and add your calories. Even if you don't follow flexible dieting or calories in, calories out style of diet, I think it's important to still learn what foods have how many calories. So at some point in this journey, I think you really need to diligently track all of your calories and all of your macros, just so you have that awareness in your head. Even though I'm not dieting right now, I still have in the back of my head, I can think for a couple of minutes and do a rough add of all of the calories I've eaten today. And having that baseline of knowing how many calories I burn in a day roughly, and knowing how many calories are in the foods that I'm eating, just gives me that knowledge and that advantage to not stress or worry about it because I'm fully aware. I'm fully aware of the fuel that's going into my body and the expenditure of that fuel. All right, so tip number two is find a healthy passion. You know, I know this one is a little bit of a cliche, but it is so important. You have to find something that's gonna get you up and moving and on your feet or staying on track, something to hold you accountable and something to feel passionate about. Having that same attitude and drive and mentality towards another aspect of your life that's gonna help keep you on track is gonna be a big, big help. You know, that's why having, uh, having something like social media accounts like I have, as much as I enjoy helping you guys, all of this helps keep me accountable as well. Um, so I've set up those systems in place. You know, not only do I have my progress at stake, but I have a lot of eyes on me. But beyond that, you know, I've really found a lot of passions in different activities. You know, hiking or weightlifting or cycling. All of these things I really enjoy doing and I would still do them regardless of the calorie burn or the health benefits. I just really enjoy those activities. So there's never a concern where I'm going to lose motivation gain the weight back because I'm doing what I want to do. So finding those activities that are going to be beneficial to maintaining your progress but you also enjoy, finding those things is very, very important. All right, and the last tip I have for you. Hold yourself accountable by continuing to weigh yourself on a regular basis. You know, for me, I, I ended up changing and making part of my morning routine every single day, weighing myself. You know, and I know there is some controversy that surrounds daily weigh-ins, but for someone like me, you know, I'm purposefully trying to keep my weight the same. So I feel like I don't have that stress of seeing, you know, why is it not changing or why is it doing this or why is it doing that? You know, when, when your goal is to stay the same, things get a little bit different and I feel like having that daily weigh-in each morning just as part of my routine, I weigh myself, I log it, it's done, helps me keep on track and just remain aware. You know, beyond the scale, things like measurements or how your clothes fit will also do this. I just know during the backslides that I had, you know, mid weight loss, you know, when I stopped weighing myself and I stopped tracking those metrics was where I was really hiding from it and from where I stalled and started to backslide. So continuing, you know, continuing keeping that awareness on the forefront for me has made a huge difference. I'm aware of where my body's at at any given day, but I'm also aware of how to control it and change it. The longer it's been since I finished losing the weight, you know, I started losing weight back in 2011, so six years ago. I finished losing it about two years ago. You know, right now compared to two years ago, I feel so much more prepared and confident and aware. Uh, you know, there's not a doubt in my mind that I will have any trouble in the future maintaining this lifestyle and this weight because I've set it up in a way that's sustainable and fits into my life best. And the more I practice and the more I work at it, the better it gets. So just make sure, hold yourself account accountable, keep yourself aware, you know, find some passions that are going to get you active and keep you up and moving and make sure you know how to change your diet to lose weight or gain weight without any trouble. I hope you guys got some benefit from this. You know, it's not too often that I see people talking about their best tips and methods for maintaining 
that weight loss. You know, during that last stretch, you know, I'm tracking my calories, I'm doing all this stuff, and all I could think of, you know, is, is this going to have to be the rest of my life? Am I gonna have to be this conscious or proactive as, uh, as the years go by? And the answer is yes and no. You know, I feel like I'm equally aware and conscious now, but the difficulty level has just gone way down. Um, these are, are honestly and truly the things that I do to keep myself accountable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you do. It really helps me out a ton. And, uh, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already. I put out new videos every Monday and Friday. And uh, leave me a comment down below. For anyone that's been maintaining your weight long term, how long has it been? How have you been doing with it? Love to get that discussion going. But uh, until next time, I will talk to you all later. I'm about to go head out and enjoy this beautiful day in Portland. But uh, I hope everyone has a good one.